Good morning, Patrick here from Complete Health. I just wanted to talk about the, really the biggest difference between healthcare and sickness care. So what is the biggest difference between healthcare and sickness care? Well, ironically, despite the fact that we call our NHS the National Health Service, one of the biggest things that I see coming through from people that have attempted to go to our NHS with a problem very rarely feel like it has been listened to, observed and corrected. And in fact, it's almost as if that every single time that someone goes to the NHS with a mechanical injury or problem or back pain or shoulder problem or a rotator cuff injury, especially right now, are really struggling to try and get the adequate volume of care to actually take care of those injuries or issues. So what we're actually currently living in is a paradigm of sickness care as opposed to healthcare because what we're doing is we're only working on a problem once a symptom arrives. Which to the majority of people in this country probably makes sense. Why look after yourself until there's a problem? Well, as Benjamin Franklin used to say, that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound in cure. And a dentist will definitely tell you the same thing. Now, if you let your teeth rot to the point where there's a hole in it, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more to get root canal, uh, root canal surgery than what it would have done to just make sure you were eating the right foods and brushing your teeth twice a day because you should be doing those things anyway. So if you sustain those things over a longer period of time, e.g. brushing your teeth twice a day, just like taking care of your exercise, your diet, your, your movement and your mobility, we see exactly the same processes going on when we look at our health. Now, the biggest difference between our teeth and our spinal health or our joint health is that teeth are something that everybody sees in their smile, which means it's a vanity thing. Whereas looking after other areas of our health, people cannot necessarily see it other than maybe our weight. And again, so therefore, there's not so much vanity in taking care of other areas of our body. However, we as chiropractors in a healthcare paradigm or in massage or in physiotherapy or in any profession where we're looking at it is healthcare, we are looking to, first of all, resolve the problem that someone has come in with. We wanna try and fix the pain or the injury that they are suffering with. That's the, obviously the most important thing because that's what people are coming to us for. But two, what we wanna do is correct the underlying dysfunction. So it's all well and good fixing someone's shoulder and getting rid of the pain, but if the thing that's gonna promote that shoulder to go straight back to feeling pain again is still there, has not been corrected, we're gonna go through exactly the same problem again. So you wanna correct the underlying dysfunction. And then finally, what you wanna try and do is promote. Now, this is the thing that most of us forget. Sometimes we'll get the correction, sometimes we'll get the resolving, but we'll often forget the promotion. Now, the promotion is looking at longer-term strategies to make sure people are looking after their health long-term to ensure the issues are not gonna come back. So say, for example, we've got the posture back into a decent position, we've got the muscles relaxed, and we then just say, send you on your way and say, carry on with blah, 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 blah. Person manages the exercises and the diet for about six weeks, they're not seeing any practitioners, and as a result, they kind of feel like they're getting away scot-free, so they stop taking care of themselves. What happens to that person's health again? And the answer is normally very obvious. If there is no accountability, people tend not to take care of themselves. So as chiropractors, this is the biggest difference with often private healthcare versus Public healthcare is that we're looking to then do that promotion at the end and ensure longevity of your results, not just the short-term fix, which painkillers and surgery is looking to offer. We're looking at a long-term rehabilitation, changes in lifestyle factors that are not only gonna actually help to promote the dysfunctions you might be seeing now, but prevent issues in the future and actually potentially even reduce your risks of stuff like coronary heart disease, cancers, as well as your neuromuscular skeletal issues that most people will initially come and find us for. Uh, there's a really good book on this. Uh, it's called Anti-Cancer. Who is the, his name is David, but his last name is French, so I cannot pronounce it. He's also done a documentary on uh, Netflix, which goes alongside his book, but also one of the other really good uh, 
documentaries on Netflix that actually describes this phenomenon is heal. So you've got the C word and heal. These both describe the phenomenons of promotion, of longevity, of taking care of your body and why it's so important to do so. Patrick here from Ripley Health. I will see you in the clinic soon. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment them in the comments below. I would love to be able to answer any questions you might have. Take care for now.